this week's Peaches of the Week are being brought to you by Flowers Deer Processing. Let me tell you something. I went out there the other night, and they were jam-packed with people coming in, bringing their deer. I would venture to say the flowers are, are really in about overdrive right now, getting everything ready. And we got an upcoming modern gun season that's fixing to open. Even They are going to be even busier. Let me show you some pictures of some of these folks and kids now. I'm going to tell you, I don't know quite all these people, but this was all from Flowers. Flowers, Jim and Anna and Mike and Deborah, they all saved these pictures and sent them to me. These are just people that came into Flowers um, just the other day and you see this is one here and we go go to our next one here these are just kids this was during the juvenile now look at that that's one that's a small boy that really wore a big boy out and dad granddad had to get involved in that one <laughs> that's a good one now look at this young fella right here i meant the deer's head is bigger than he is no that's a little girl that's a little girl she just had a great great time great deer that she took there and we got uh here's another young fellow look at i mean some of these kids are really capturing and, and harvesting some really big animals they are uh, are you not impressed look at this this is some big deer these these kids are taking and, and you know it's whatever's a trophy for them they look at that one. oh my goodness i don't know if uh uh some of these kids just can't get them. They're just all over the place. They're, uh, all these kids did really, really well. I do want to say that uh, that was uh, Isaac. That's Isaac Brown right there. He is a 16-year-old young man. He has had a spinal injury two months ago in football. Go back just the one one time, Courtney. Go back. Just I want to show that picture again. If it's all right, can we can we do that? All right, this, this young man right here had a spinal injury two months ago while playing football. He could not walk for over a month, and now he's able to walk and build his strength back. He went hunting uh, just the other day, and God blessed him with his first muzzleloader deer, an eight-pointer taken in Robertson County. Look, he is 16-year-old Isaac Brown. We want to say congratulations, Isaac, and we pray that you get a speedy, speedy healing and uh uh, we, we expect you to play football again next year. All right, so now we'll we'll progress. This is a, a look at this young lady right here. Not a bad deer by <laughs> no. by anybody's standards, and she put the smack down on this one right here. And we got uh, now look at this little fella. I want I, I really like this picture. I don't know if mom staged this or dad staged this, but that young man he could actually fit in those antlers. <laughs> yeah. I mean that that is a nice nice buck i hope to see one like that my darn self but very good job now here's a young man knows how to hold that hold that deer up there uh just a really good this is all from flowers deer processing i, I promise you ladies and gentlemen it's the best place to take your deer look at this now that's a wide rack one right there mm -hmm. that is a big buck yes it is and uh the kids i think just hit it just perfect had a great great time um, let's see this. Oh, here's our buddy that was on here last week. This is James Jones with Sniper Hunting Products. He put the, the big beat down on one the other day up in Kentucky. And uh, what a fine, fine deer right there. Now, the next picture here. Here's the one I've been trying to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, about. This is Stephen Tucker, age 26, of Gallatin. And this buck had 49 actual points that scored more than 300 inches in length now it is the new state record wow in non-typical it scores 313 and two eighths it is maybe uh a, we gotta wait the 60 day drying period to make sure but it may be the new world record uh, taken right here. So Stephen T 
Tucker, 26. You might as well have won the lottery on that right there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my goodness. Uh, but just a really nice young man to understand. A lot of people know him. He's super nice, uh, super humble, um, but really did a, a great job in harvesting a truly a one-of-a-kind buck. And right here in our own backyard in Middle Tennessee. And then the next picture here, uh, I don't sure... If this is Lauren or Ethan Jones, but these are James Jones's uh, two children, Lauren Jones and Ethan Jones. They both went out during the juvenile season and took their nice deer right there. And uh, just wanted to throw their picture out there. Congratulations to Lauren Jones and Ethan Jones on their fine, fine deer. Hey, you can send your pictures to us here at Southern Woods and Waters, 474 James Robertson Parkway, Nashville, Tennessee, 37219, or simply email them to me at southernwoodsandwaters.com or Facebook me or Instagram me at Southern Woods and Waters. We'll get those pictures on here really, really fast. A lot of those came in. Uh, during the Facebook. They uh, sent them to me by Facebook. So uh, keep it up. With me tonight, I have with me Adam Tilly. Adam Tilly is with Sport Dog Brand, uh, which is, uh, you're going to find out, we're going to get a little bit more in depth on this. It is primarily, now it will go for any dog. Yes. But we kind of, y'all kind of mm, got the niche around meat hunters or meat dogs. Yes. Uh, what's going to put something in the freezer for us? Right. right? And so, but it, it will work for any dog. I mean, it, uh, they've got collars and everything. But explain to people, you've got different degrees. Yes. Now, now, can you kind of take us through that, Adam? I mean, a guy just starting out, just bought, it, and he's, you know, he's he tries to duck on. He's not maybe not a, a professional, or but he wants to get into duck hunting. Okay. Invest a little money in a dog. Maybe you've got a, a you know, might not be a pure, uh, you know, a registered bloodline, but he can pay three, four hundred dollars or five hundred dollars for a lab. He takes him out, trains him a little bit himself, but then he says, you know, I need to get somebody that will take him to the next level. Where did what collar would you? And, and that guy probably didn't spend, you know, five or six hundred dollars to train him. So walk us through because I've noticed you've got different degrees that go to different different scenarios. Yeah, we do, we do. So in the world of remote trainers, uh, the top three questions you get asked is pretty much, what's the range? How many dogs can I run on this system? And is it rechargeable? Okay. And pretty much in that order is what's going to kind of justify on what you're going to be using it for. So up here in the bubble packaging, we yep. have you know these would be 100 yard remote trainers. They're kind of a one dog system. This would be something that you would use more or less around the house or for just basic obedience. And as you go up, you know, as you go up in range, of course, so does your price point and so does what you actually are going to be using it for. Mm -hmm. So up at the front, we have what we call the, um, the field trainer, the 425. That's going to be a 500 yard range. You can run up to three dogs on one remote. It's a lithium ion battery, rechargeable. It's also waterproof and submersible up to 25 feet. That is going to be geared more towards those duck hunters. Yeah, the, the, new, the newcomers mm -hmm. just yeah. getting started. Yeah, and, and the thing is is that you know 500 yards is, is ample range yeah, for ample. a duck hunter. If yeah. you're hitting anything further than that, you should probably be in the Olympics. Yeah, it's true. So and if, he, if he fell that far, it's probably at the next blind and they got him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, and, and you know, and it just, you just progressively just get further and further and further in range, you know, past the 425 would be the 825, which is a half mile range. Okay, now that, this was the 425, and yeah. it's the 500 yards? That's a 500 yard about range. 500 yards, okay. All right, and then the next one here. This is your 425 camo, okay. and this is going to be geared more towards your duck dogs as well, and the reason being is that your camo version, not only is it camo, but it also has a medium and a high setting in the collar. The reason for that is when the dog is in the water, the stimulation actually doesn't really get to the skin due to the water, right. so you actually have to have a little bit of a hotter collar on them when they're in the water and you have to stimulate them which okay. doesn't happen a lot if you've got a pretty well trained if dog. If you've got them real trained but I mean if he takes that duck that you just downed and he starts hitting out there in open water. You're going to need to get his you're attention. You're going to need to get his attention <laughs> yeah. aren't you? Alright well that's a, that's a good one okay and then uh, 
Our next one is 825. So this is our half mile range. We call it our sport trainer. Um, this is going to be more or less for your upland hunting, your bird dogs, the ones that run real big, but they're yeah. still not too, too far out. Um, we have a lot of pro trainers that use this one. Um, we also have a lot of pro staffers that use this one. It's a very, very versatile system. You're starting to get up there a little bit in price point. You're about 200 bucks at this point, depending mm -hmm. on where you go. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, we're still not quite out of companion pet yet. We still have quite a few companion pets that are going to buy this just because they prefer the range. Right. One of the things that I love to tell people that's just so true in the remote trainer world is that it's very easy not to have enough range because dogs run fast, oh, but yeah. it's impossible to have too much. So I always tell people to overshoot if you can. That's right. It's that's a very good tip right there. But this one, this one here now, it, it's did you say half a mile? That's a half mile. Half yeah. Half mile. That's that's a long ways. It is. It is. And everything that you that you have right now that is in a box like that is going to be able to run two dogs or more. So okay. the first three that you've touched have been. Three dog systems. Three dog systems. Yep. Now this one here is a, what? How many dogs? Half on this mile. One? Three dogs. Three dogs. Okay. We got three dogs on that one. All right. And then we got. Uh, let's see right here. All right, we got the 1225. So the 1225 is another sport hunter. We're just getting a little bit further in range. You still have the three dog system, okay. except for this is a three quarter mile range. Three quarter mile. Three quarter mile. So we're getting we're getting even further up. So far, every one of them has had a lithium ion battery, rechargeable, and they're waterproof and submersible with what we call dry tech technology, which mm -hmm. means the uh, the collar and the handheld are waterproof up to 25 feet. Oh man. And if you got a dog in that deep water, well, <laughs> you drop it. My joke is if your handheld goes in the water, go get it. If your collar's 25 feet under the water, you got bigger problems. You got bigger problems. That's <laughs> right. That's right. But now, now this one here, uh, three quarter mile, I would I would have to venture to say this. Now you're getting into the to the rabbit hunters, where they make that circle at rabbits, carrying them mm -hmm. a half a mile or three quarters of a mile, and you still hear them. Uh, coon dogs, things like that. Um, I know we don't have we don't have legal deer dogs in this state, but there is surrounding states that have uh, deer dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, you're getting into that category now. Yes. Uh, bird dogs. Yes. Because um, I I know some guys uh, that have German short hairs and things. Uh, they treat them better than their their kids. Yes, they do. Yes, you know, they, they do. sit in their lap and at home in the rocking chair, and you know they watch TV, and you know they get treated really, really well. But it's because. Uh, we kind of invest a lot of time into our, our animals, don't we? We do. Into our pets. We do, and you know, from from the hunting aspect, you know. Those sportsmen, we love our dogs just as much as a companion pet would. You, bet. you know, it, it, it's it's not just an investment, but it's also it's your hunting partner. It is. You know, I mean, there's definitely a special bond that a sportsman has with that dog. You know, not only is he a tool, but I mean, he's your best friend. He is your best friend. He rarely ever talks back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've got to go do our product of the week right now, and it is being sponsored by Highland Rim Tractor right there in Millersville, Tennessee. Uh, they are your Mahindra Tractor dealer. Go by and check them out. Be a great Christmas present for some guys out there. I'm telling you, this week I want to show, we've seen this before. And it was in last week's show, James Jones. But I'm going to tell you something. I am so impressed with uh, the sniper hunting products. This sniper camera, uh, I'm going to tell you something. Bar none uh, is one of the finest cameras out there. Uh, with the megapixels that it has, the big antenna. And I also found out you can even get booster antennas. They sell those too. I, I don't think I need it, but this one, every time it snaps a picture or video, uh, and I'm going to put this one on video mode, but uh, even um, as soon as it completes it, it sends it to your phone <laughs> via, you have to have a little card, you have to have an app for it, and you have to have a card, you have to have an app for everything nowadays, yeah, yeah. but uh, uh, and, uh, you can go through uh, Boost Mobile or uh, AT&T, and it will take it, put it to my Verizon phone, and it will show me that video. So I could be under a house doing plumbing or something like that and still get 
uh, still be hunting. <laughs> so I know what's going by my stand. So give them a call. Look them up on their on their website at Sniper Hunting Products or go to Southern Woods and Waters. We're going to have a direct link for Sniper Hunting Products on our webpage. Thank you so much. We'll be right back with more info up from Sport Dog here in just a few minutes. First, we got to pay the bills. We'll see some of our fine sponsors. We'll be right back with more Southern Woods and Waters. Mm-hmm. 